हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक जय प्रजापति वेलकम यू इन माय लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑन रैंडम वेरिएबल्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैड डिफाइन व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ ए डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड वी हैड डन सम एग्जांपल्स ऑन द प्रोबेबिलिटी मास फंक्शन ऑफ ए डिस्क्रीट रैंडम वेरिएबल Today also we are going to discuss three more examples on probability mass function or probability distribution of a discrete random variable. So let us take example number one. What is given from a lot of ten items containing three defectives, a sample of four items is drawn at random. So it is given that. There are total ten items in a lot in which three items are defective, and remaining seven items are non-defective. So, out of ten items, a sample of four items is selected at random. So, the random experiment is to select four items out of ten items. Then. Let the random variable capital X denote the number of defectives in the sample. So, random variable X is the number of defectives, and we have to answer the following when the sample is drawn without replacement. That means there are four items selected from ten items. So, once we have selected one item, we are not putting that item back in the lot. So, that is the idea that we are doing the selection without replacement so using this uh, information you have to find out the probability distribution for the random variable x which is which is the number of defectives in the sample also we have to calculate this uh, probabilities probability of event capital x less than or equal to 1 capital x less than 1 and probability of the event that value of random variable lies between 0 and 2 so first thing we have to decide is what is the random experiment in this uh, example so random experiment is to select four items out of 10 items so the total number of selections possible are 10c4 we can select four items out of 10 items in 10c4 ways that means the total number of outcomes in the sample space is 10c4 now out of these four items there may be some defective items and total number of defective items are 3 so if we select a sample of four items there are chances that no item is defective one item is defective two item is defective or three items are defective among the four selected items so random variable is defined as x of omega that is x value of random variable at outcome omega is nothing but the number of defective items in the outcome omega and since there are three defective items the possible values of random variable capital x are 0 1 2 and 3 because there are total three defective items and we are selecting four items so out of those four selected items these are the different possibilities that no item is defective one item is defective two items are defective or three items are defective so we have to find out probability mass function of this random variable x and by the definition of pmf it is defined as small p of x equal to probability of the event capital x equal to small x here x runs from 0 1 2 and 3 so we have to calculate value of pmf at each value of small x that is at 0 1 2 and 3 so we have calculated it one by one small p of 0 equal to probability of the event capital x equal to 0 now capital x equal to 0 means we have to select those outcomes from the sample space in which there is no defective item 
so p of omega belongs to capital s such that omega contains no defective items so total number of outcomes are 10 c4 and outcomes in favor of this event so omega must not contain any defective item so we have to select zero defective out of three defectives so all the four items must be selected from remaining non defective items so out of three we are selecting zero that is no defective item and all the selected items are non defective that means four items must be selected out of seven non defective items so it is 3c0 into 7c4 and if we simplify this it is 1 by 6 similarly we can calculate other probabilities also small p of 1 equal to probability that capital x equal to 1 capital x equal to 1 represents this event omega belongs to sample space such that x of omega equal to 1 now x of omega means number of defectives in the omega and it is 1 so that means we have to select those outcomes from the sample space which contains only one defective so out of four selected items one item is defective and three items are non defective so it is 3c1 into 7c3 divided by total number of outcomes that is 10c4 and after calculating this we obtain 1 by 2 similarly p of 2 means probability of two defective items so we have to consider 3c2 two items are defective so two items are selected out of three defective items and remaining two items are from seven non defective items and after simplification we obtain 3 by 10 similarly p of 3 means number of defective items in the selected outcome are 3 so we have to select those outcomes from the sample space in which number of defective items are 3 so 3 items are defective so 3 are selected from 3 defective items and remaining one item is non defective that can be selected from seven non defective items so after simplification it is 1 by 3 so we have obtained value of pmf at each value of random variable x so to write probability distribution we can write in the table so this first row corresponds to the values of random variable which are 0 1 2 3 and this second column corresponds to the probabilities corresponding to this values of small x so i have listed all these probabilities here so this is the probability distribution of the random variable x now what is second part you have to calculate probability that capital x is less than or equal to 1 so capital x is less than or equal to 1 is nothing but probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1 that means capital x less than or equal to 1 means number of defective items can be either 0 or 1 so now we have to put values of this p of x equal to 0 means it is 1 by 6 and for x equal to 1 probability is 1 by 2 and after simplification this is 2 by 3 similarly p of capital x less than 1 means capital x can take value 0 only so it is 1 by 6 and this is also p of 0 less than x less than 2 means p of x equal to 1 capital x is strictly less than 2 and strictly greater than 0 that means possible value of capital x is 1 only and p of 1 is 1 by 2 okay so in this way you can do the problems based on the probability mass function of a discrete random variable so let us take another example Example number two. Suppose that a pair of fair dice are to be tossed, and let the random variable capital X denote the sum of the points. 
which we obtain on the upward faces of dice. Obtain the probability distribution for this random variable capital X. So in this example, the random experiment is tossing or throwing of a uh, of two dice. Here the random experiment is tossing of two dice. So the sample space consists of 6 into 6 that is 36 outcomes. For the first, if we consider first dice, then the outcomes possible are 1 to 6, 1 to 3, 4, 5 and 6. But we are tossing two dice, so we have to consider Cartesian product of this set with itself. So total number of outcomes will be 6 into 6 that is 36. And the outcomes can be listed in this way. Order pair AB where AB equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 6. That means 1, 1, 1, 2 and up to 6, 6. So in that way there are total 36 outcomes in the sample space of tossing of two dice. The random variable x is the sum of the points. So random variable x is given by suppose we want to find out value of random variable at order pair a b. That means a occurs on the first dice and b occurs on the second dice. So random variable is defined as x of order pair a b equal to sum of the points that is a plus b where a b equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6. So what are the possible values of the random variable? So you can see if we consider the different outcomes then uh, this we can write as the sample space can be written as 1 1 1 2 Similarly, if we continue, then the last outcome will be 6, 6. So, the value of random variable at this order pair is x of 1, 1, that is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So, this is the minimum value of random variable. It is the minimum value which random variable can take. So the possible values of x will start from 2. 2 is the minimum summation of all these possible order pairs. There are 36 order pairs. So for each order pair we have to assign their sum. So, and that's that minimum value possible is 1 plus 1 which is 2. Similarly 1 plus 2 that is 3 and so on last outcome is 6 comma 6 so maximum value of random variable possible is 12 so the possible values of random variable x are starting from x equal to 2 up to x equal to 12 so these are the possible values of random variable x or we can say that this is the range of this discrete random variable so we have to calculate probabilities for each value of this capital X. So again by definition P of X equal to probability that capital X equal to small x. X runs from 2 to 12. So if we put X equal to 2, we obtain capital P of this event, capital X equal to 2. Now capital X equal to 2 represents the event that sum of the points is 2. That means we have to collect those outcomes in the sample space or we have to collect those pairs a b such that a plus b equal to 2. So the outcome in favor of this event is only one outcome 1 comma 1 because 1 plus 1 is 2. So it is probability of this event order pair 1 1 is 1 divided by 36. Now let us take what is P of 3. P of 3 is nothing but probability that capital X equal to 3. So we have to collect those pairs from the sample space. So those pairs AB such that A plus B equal to 3. 
that means 1 2 and 2 1 so there are two outcomes in favor of this event so it is 2 by 36 similarly p of 4 means we have to collect those pairs such that summation is 4 so in the first row if we start from 1 1 1 2 1 3 we will have 1 3 in the first row similarly 2 1 2 2 so 2 2 will come here because 2 plus 2 is 4 then in the row of 3 we have 3 1 okay, so these are the three possible outcomes so 3 by 36 so in this way you can find out the probabilities corresponding to each value of random variable so I have listed all these probabilities suppose I consider P of 10 then I will write down those pairs from the sample space whose sum is 10 so 4 6 5 5 6 4 so it is 3 by 36 so in this way we can calculate all the corresponding probabilities and after calculations we have to write down the probability distribution in this form here values of x and corresponding probabilities so you can observe one thing first it is increasing 1 by 36 2 by 36 up to this it is 6 by 36 then it is decreasing okay so the values are symmetrical with respect to this value okay you can see these two are symmetrical similarly these two are symmetrical 3 by 36 2 by 36 and 1 by 36 okay, so in this way we can decide the probability distribution for a discrete random variable let us take one more example the random variable capital X has the following distribution so values of X and corresponding probabilities are given but probabilities are given in terms of unknown constant small k k is not given but it is given that this is the probability distribution of random variable x so because this is probability distribution of random variable x this p of x is nothing but probability mass function of random variable x it is the pmf this p of x is the probability mass function of a random variable x because this is given to be probability distribution so we have to find out the value of k if px is the probability mass function of x and once we have the value of small k we can find out all these probabilities so if if small px is the probability mass function of a random variable then by the definition we know that summation of all the probabilities must be equal to 1 that means sigma px must be equal to 1 starting from x equal to 0 to x equal to 7 this we can rewrite as p of 0 plus p of 1 up to p of 7 must be equal to 1 so that means summation of all these probabilities must be equal to 1 so we find out what is the summation of all these probabilities so we put all these values here 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k this must be equal to 1 so if you simplify this is 2 plus 3 7 plus sorry 2 plus 1 3 plus 7 that is 10k square and this is 1 plus 2 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 and plus k that is 9k and this one I have taken on left hand side so if you factorize this you will obtain this is nothing but product of these two linear polynomials in k 10k minus 1 into k plus 1 which is 0 so this is either this is 0 or this is 0 and if we consider k plus 1 equal to 0 we obtain k equal to minus 1 and this implies k equal to 1 by 10 but k equal to minus 1 is not possible because if we take k equal to minus 1 then probability corresponding to x equal to 1 is minus 1 
and we know that probability is always non negative so we have to consider small k equal to 1 by 10 so that is first part okay, it is simple what we have done we have applied these probabilities this uh, property of probability of mass function summation of all the probabilities must be equal to 1 so once we have small k we can find out these probabilities so first we find out this probability probability that capital X is greater than or equal to 6 so this is nothing but summation of these probabilities probability of the event capital X equal to 6 plus probability of the event capital X equal to 7 so for x equal to 6 probability is 2k square and this is 7k square plus k so after simplification it is 9k square plus k and then we put value of k which is 1 by 10 so this is 9 by 100 plus 1 by 100 so finally it is 19 by 100 now if I want to calculate probability of this event capital X less than 6 then one way is I can go in this way also probability of this event x less than 6 this is nothing but probability of x equal to 0 plus probability of x equal to 1 and so on I have to go up to because it is strictly less than 6 I have to go up to capital X equal to 5 so here I have to find out summation of 5 not 5 6 probabilities 6 different probabilities okay, so that is one way we can go in this way also another way is we know the probability of this event capital X greater than or equal to 6 and these two events capital X less than 6 and capital X greater than or equal to 6 are complementary events okay, their intersection is empty and then their union is the whole sample space so probability of X less than 6 can be written as 1 minus probability of X greater than or equal to 6 and we have calculated this it is 19 by 100 so we put that value here and we obtain 81 by 100 so this is another way one way is you can you have to take summation of probabilities up to capital X equal to 5 okay, so this is about uh, today's session we have done examples of probability mass function of a discrete random variable in the next session we will do some uh, another definitions of cumulative distribution function of a random variable and their examples okay, so I hope you like this lecture thank you very much